Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldown Model Railway. So in today's video I'm going to show you a little bit of an update on what I've been doing so far. This will include a closer look at some of the station detail. Also I build a car park for the station and also I finish off the disused line leading up to the station. Right so let's crack on with the video and show you some of the stuff that I've been up to. So what I've done on this section here is uh, I've decided to dig out the little roadway that leads from uh, that piece of the viaduct and I was going to have sort of like a little drop off point uh, that comes here uh, but what I'm actually going to do is put um, a little gate just across the bottom here. I'm then going to smooth this out and you can see where uh, the little lines are there so I'm going to carry on the wall that will kind of uh, take that spot in the corner there and then this will be a little space here where um, some cars can park so I'm going to put some plaster down uh, get that kind of leveled out uh, put a grey wash over that and then I can just hand paint in a couple of lines and then it looks like that they've added this wall in uh, afterwards because there'll be a disused track here so I'm going to weather this piece up and there'll be a few sleepers running down on this section and then this will be all overgrown along here and then I've started to add a little bit of overgrown bushing on the end here then I'll have a set of sleepers and maybe an old wagon or something that's sort of like overgrown and decrepit all up in uh, this section here so I'm hoping that that will kind of uh, sort of tie off that section there and then towards the back here I'll just add a load of bush in to kind of hide that white line uh, that you can see there. So when you're looking from this view, uh, you might be able to see like a car come sort of down the road as if it's coming down the countryside. Uh, that wall will be leveled up, so it'll be nice and sort of straight. And then any views from this sort of side, you'll start to see a couple of cars in the car park there. And then equally from the top section, you'll then see, uh, sorry, uh, some cars parked up in the car park here. And then there'll be uh, some wire fencing that will go all the way down here. And then this bit here will all be sort of like quite overgrown and, un and unkept as if there was an old railway line there that's now been uh, sort of grown over and stuff. Right, so um, enough of me jabbering on, let's crack on with the build and I will show you a little bit more of what I've done on the station area as well. I'm just doing the final fix of the station fencing. I've just pre-drilled the holes. I've just got to now glue it into place. Uh, but this is it with uh, some of the lights on. Uh, but the whole scene starting to come together quite nicely. And then, then the new addition to the car park there. I've just got to do some IPA over the top and then some uh, water washing up liquid and PVA water mix down to seal that sort of uh, car park area there and then I've started to put some slope fencing at the back there and then there'll be 
a little bit more fencing that will just line up uh, along that sort of section there as well. And then what I'll do is then put some uh, bushing at the very back uh, behind the wall and the fence there. So it just creates a little bit of depth. And then if I take you back underneath, uh, what I'll be doing is adding some uh, little bit of bushing behind the bottom of the fence that stretches all the way along uh, this section here. And then I've got a bit of a gate. Let's move these out of the way. A little bit of a gate there on the corner there. And then that will block off then for a water tower that will go on a water column sorry that will go on the end of this platform here then all i've got to do now is just do the white edging and fix in the fencing for under that section and then just finish off wiring up uh, the little lights you might be able to see is just in that section there sorry it's a little bit hard to sort of focus uh, the camera i've got loads of bits and pieces all stuck under here but there's another set of lights just in there that will light up that area there as well. So I think it looks quite good with seeing some sort of buildings in the background, a little bit of lighting. Um, it looks completely different on uh, on camera than it does actually in real life. It's actually just quite a nice sort of glow to it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, really starting to come together and I'm quite pleased with the results so far. So. Going to crack on and do a little bit more, going to get the fencing put in, uh, do the white lines and uh, put the lighting on. And then uh, I'll bring you back once that's done and show you what it looks like. So it's the next day and I put down some uh, PVA mix over this section here and added a little bit of uh, grey acrylic in to give some sort of patching to the stonework and stuff. I added in a little gate there just by the, um, the viaduct and then I'm just going to add in now some more bushing in and around that section there. I've added some dark grey ballast to this uh, disused line here and then also put some bushing around the wall and all over that buffer stop I've weathered that down as well and you'll probably be able to see a little bit of rust and stuff that's been put on the tracks and then some old sleepers that are still in on that section there So that's tied off that scene quite nicely. And now what I've started to do is just to paint in uh, the white lines for this section here. So I'm gonna crack on with that because I've got the rest of the platform to do. Um, it doesn't matter too much if the white is not so uniform uh, because then it could look like it's a little bit weathering down it anyway, uh, just with the rain and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna work my way all the way along the platform and right through to the other edge. So I'm gonna do all of that now. And then I'll be starting to glue in some more of the fencing. So I'll be back in a moment.
So thank you very much for joining me on this update. What I'm going to do now is end the video here um, because whilst I'm waiting for some of this uh, station to dry, I'm actually going to crack on and do some of the static grassing to tie up all of this section here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put that into the next video. So thanks very much for joining everyone. Thank you to those that have joined me on Patreon. And thank you to all the new people that have joined my channel recently. Take care everyone and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.